Hey, are you ready for some hunting on the Tommy Wilcox Show? Tommy Wilcox Outdoors is brought to you by Alabama Credit Union. Feel good about your money. Mahindra Tractors, built for the long haul. Peach Outdoors, get the motor running on your next project with our Mahindra Tractors, ATVs, and lawn equipment. Tuscaloosa Toyota, one price, one place. Talladega County Exchange, for all your feed and agricultural needs. The band Legal Limit, Lou and the guys play all your favorite classic rock and country. Nelson Glass for all your contract or residential glass needs. Precision Vein Therapeutics. We can help you get back the legs you used to have. Special thanks to Taylor South with Cub Cadet, Brass Gory Equipment Rental, and Mass Climbers for providing the equipment needed to help those who are less fortunate. All music courtesy of country music legend Hank Williams Jr. Hey, folks, welcome to today's show. We're going to be down at Cameron's Quail Preserve in Warsaw, oh, Alabama. <laughs> finally. With After John Cameron. Years. I got Matt Woods, Jasper <laughs> Auto Sales. Matt's got his whole family just about, huh, Matt? We're all here, my dad. Three dad, brothers and a nephew. So a little nephew. We're excited. How old is so, your little nephew? He's eight. There you eight go. Years. That's how you raise them up right yeah, there. Yeah, put them in the woods. That's right. So That's we're right. down here with all the Alabama Credit Union guys. Uh, got Benson Bowling, got uh, Joe Hardy, and Keith Swafford. So, uh, and you also brought Gabe with you. Yeah, he's a he's a killer. He's a killer. <laughs> <laughs> you can shoot him. Well, let's. Uh, I know we've had rain all morning. It's overcast, but John said the rain's going to be out of here. No the birds are going to fly. No, so go. let's see what happens. <laughs> you got a big enough sack to tote my birds? I got enough for one. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's enough for you. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to, y'all join us as we hunt at Cameron's Quail for there. Let's do it. That sounds good. Whoop, whoop, Rick. Whoop. Bird, get up. Coming out, get up. That's how it's done. See, we got Mr. Wilcox behind the film, so we're killing birds now. When he gets a gun, ain't no dead bird dropping on him.
jump. Can we get it? Let me get y'all drop down at low side right there, and I'm gonna work up through here. You can take my high right, my high side of the cedar, and work right up through these cedar trees right here. Let him snow. There you go. Hey folks, welcome back to the show. Got uh, John Cameron with me, Cameron Quail Preserve. John, we out here having a blast, uh, quail hunting and all, but also y'all, y'all do some fishing, y'all offer some fishing. Tell our viewing audience a little bit about that. We've got, <clears throat> right now, we've got four established lakes. These three lakes on this side are over 10 acres a piece. Uh, go to bird. Uh, and then we got another lake on the other side of the road. Um, all these lakes, we've been catching good five, six pound bass out of them, real steady. Um, we've got, we go to another bird. Hey, up back here. And then we got, uh, we've also caught some 10, some 11 pound bass out of them. What we want to do is that we've got pontoons on them instead of aluminum bottom boats and everything. Right. Boats can walk around, fish. You can have two or four people on there. Um, a lot of good area where you can fish. You got good, uh, good bass fishing, good brim fishing in them. Um, we started out where we want to take poundage out of them. So the first people that come and fish, um, we keep an accurate weight on uh, 14 inches and under. They get to keep those fish, all everything over catch and release. Right. Just trying to get your small ones out and keep it and keep you keep your big ones in there, keep them growing. But it's uh, just a little added feature. Uh, for instance, we're hunting right here on this bank. You could have somebody fishing right there in the lake, and uh, it's, it just goes a good hand-in-hand -hand combination with the quail hunt and fishing. Folks do come in afternoon early. If they're going to quail hunt the next day and they fish that afternoon, spend the night, get quail hunt the next day. Um, and also through the summertime, folks can right. come down and fish. Uh, if you got a business retreat or something, you can come down, fish, and then have your business meeting, eat some good quail, a good steak. You can't yeah. beat it with a yeah. stick, boy, I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> come wet a hook. Come wet a hook. That's right. That's right. All right, well, let's go see if we can knock some more quail down. I think I'm going to be coming up, so there should be some doubles falling. Well, I got a bag full without you shooting. <laughs> It'll probably be empty when you start shooting, so, you know. We'll, we'll see. We're doing all right so we'll, far. We'll let the audience decide. Well, they've seen you shoot before. <laughs> <laughs> Bert, coming out. Everybody gets lucky sometimes. Yeah. Don't recover from an injury like that. Here. Watch this for trees. Right here. Yeah. Good job. Good job. You 
talented when you can kill them to make them fall in the fork of a tree. That's Just gonna tell you. <laughs> you shoot them in there and make them fall in the tree, baby. It's sure good. <laughs> Got that. Yeah, bird. Good snow. See? He quick drew you. He did. Bring it in. Hip, hip. Hey folks, that camera is Quail Preserve with Alabama Credit Union and uh, Jasper Auto Sales. Having a blast hunting with uh, John Cameron and the family. Uh, we're fixing to get up here and swap out hunters. So we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with you, y'all stay with us. This, uh, this play, whole place started with daddy training dogs in 1962. And uh, he trained field trial dogs, handled field trial dogs for people, ran the circuit for a good while, started training gun dogs for people. And uh, that's when he would get through training with somebody, he'd let them come out here and, and kill a bird over their dog, watch their dog retrieving. And that got to where people would just call when wild birds going downhill late 60s, hey, can we come kill a mess of birds? That's how the preserve started. And so I've kind of kept that up. I've still trained dogs for people. Um, People bring them to me if they've got problems, bring them to me when they're just started with nobody's food with them. Um, I try to break them out for a good, easy handling dog. Um, I do something called puppy training, which is what Daddy, Daddy started um, when they were like six to seven weeks old. We would put them out in the field, uh, nothing else around them, and we'd go out there and we'd release birds right in front of them. Uh, a lot of folks do a wing on a string. Well, that, that gets a dog's eyesight. He gets to looking at the wing and pointing. But if you do a live bird, it starts making them use their nose. And when they're young like that, you can start a puppy like that, start a whole litter like that. And we've had a litter of nine just, just last summer. Uh, one would lock up on point and all eight would come in and back him when they were just 14 weeks old. When you start them like that, you create a desire level so high that all you're doing when you go to training is you're really trying to just shape a diamond because the, 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 base, the base product there is there with being desire to hunt. So uh, that's what I do. I take whole litters from people and I train them, um, train them like we train them. Um, and then I take individual dogs and train them like that. I raise puppies and I sell puppies like that. Puppies that have been through that phase of training, you can buy, you can buy a puppy. Uh, at that age, at a good price, and then finish him out on your own. He's about 75, 80% of the way broke when he comes out of puppy training. So it's a, it's a real good little program that we run. Uh, the training, uh, we like you see, that we put him out here. When I finish off a dog, I get him to backing. I get him to holding his point. I put him right out here on the hunt. Um, I, kill, I can probably kill more birds over that dog in the span of two or three weeks than you will probably kill in five or six years. So it really finishes off a dog. Uh, you can kill five, six hundred birds over the top of a dog. In that time span, you'll have a, a dog that is completely finished. It knows how to react to a covey when it gets up instead of just one and two birds being in front of it. And uh, it's just a real good thing that, that uh, I try to, we try to keep daddy's tradition of training dogs and having a good quality bird dog in front of you. Two. 
Get in there. Get there, dog. Hey. Damn right he's dead. You oxygen deprived, you didn't see them birds because you were I shot just four, out of breath. Listen, I shot four walk, times, I hit two birds. If I was playing baseball, I'd be all pro. <laughs> if you was in class, you'd be flunking. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, good job. Good boy, good man. Ain't nothing like a good bird dog. Good job. Yeah. Johnny, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. That's a nice one, huh? Well, yeah. It's nice to have somebody can finally kill him out here. Yeah. You ain't seen him yet. He just waited. <laughs> you just waited. Uh, give him a number, just. All right. Uh, you can call us, get in touch with us. The two numbers, 205-455-2499, or my cell phone at 205-367-7636, or you can get me at CameronQuailPreserve.com. I know I'm getting my behind. goodness, this is a 30 minute show. I know, and I'm trying to get business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with you from Cameron's Quail Preserve. You're killing me. Uh, well, yeah, somebody got to take control of the show. <laughs> All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's hunt from Cameron's Quail Preserve. John, thanks so much, man. Yes, we sir. had a Thank wonderful it. time. Appreciate you. Thank y'all greatly. Enjoyed it. Your family, all the woods guys, thank you all so thank much for coming. Gabe. Gabe. John. Gabe. Enjoyed it. All right, man. Yes, thank, thank you. you. And uh, from the Alabama Credit Union, thank you all so much for all Jazz Bottle Sales does for us, well, and we you. appreciate you all's business. Yes, sir. Thank you all so much. John, thank you for your business. Yes, sir. Of harassing all my hunters. <laughs> I try to make you making feel at home. Making fun, all of them. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. If somebody's interested in coming down here to hunt with y'all, tell them how to get up with you. Uh, phone number is 205-367-7636, or you can look my webpage up or look my address up on CameronQuailPreserve.com. Now, he is a little old, so he goes to bed at 8.30, so you might have to just get him in the morning. <laughs> Call him in the morning at 8.30 p.m. He, know, he knows about old. 8.30 p.m. <laughs> he's gone. Thank you, man. Thank yes, you for sir. all you do. Thank you, Hoss. I we'll see y'all next week. <laughs> Loaded down, trucking on from town to town. Guns, bows, and a tackle box. Here come Tommy Wilcox. Hitting the water, hitting the woods. That Bama boy sure got it good. Always having too much fun, Lord, it does.